Today is the 4th of July, and so it's early morning, and we have a lot of company coming today. So I'm going to be making a coleslaw, and I'm making potato salad. My, my um, eggs are on boiling right now. I'll cut up the potatoes in a minute, but you've already seen that. I would put a video on that. So I'm going to do coleslaw today. And I'm going to start out by shredding the cabbage. Now you can use a food processor or you can shred it yourself. Uh, I like to shred it myself. That way it's not too chopped up. So I'm going to cut the cabbage in half. Nice cabbage. You know, this cabbage about a half hour ago looked terrible because the, like, all the outside leaves were black because they've been in the refrigerator for like, oh gosh, I don't know, maybe a month. So I get all rid of all the junk on the outside and you got a beautiful head of cabbage. So don't throw anything out. Always take the outside leaves off and see what's happening. All right, we don't want this big thing here because it's tough and not nice. We cut that out just like that. We cut that out. Now, in order to slice it, we need a flat bottom and cabbage is pretty cheap. So we're just gonna cut that and throw that away right there. That will go to the chickens. I'm sure they will love it. Now it's nice and flat. See, I can now I can slice it. I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna put my thumb against here and right close, right here, close. I'm not cutting my thumb. Ooh, I'm gonna just put it right next to it and shred it really thin. And move my thumb over. I'm keeping my thumb there as my guide, I will. you can get it. Kind of fun to make a game out of it to see how thin you can get it. I'm going to do this with, with both the cabbages. And see how thin it is? Look at that. It's beautiful. It's like hair. Stringy hair. Isn't it beautiful? So that's the way you want it like that. It just tastes better that way. It just tastes better. I'm going to do the rest of the cabbage and I'll come back. All right, I have this much cabbage left over. I'm not doing a whole, but I got a whole bowl of shredded cabbage. So, I'm going to put this aside now, and I'm going to do my celery next. Okay? I've cleaned my celery already. Just going to cut it here. And I don't like using my I like my hands better. I can control my hands better. So, just cutting little, little pieces of celery in there. pieces of celery. I'll do this celery also, a stick and a half of celery. There we go, that's the celery and the cabbage. Next we put the carrots. Carrots. Now the carrots, I can either cut them up, chop them into little pieces, or I can take the lazy person way out, which I'm gonna do, and take my little chop, uh, my little peeler and Gives it color and makes them small enough. Sneak. And I'll do that with another carrot. Okay, I'm down to the end of my carrots. I'm not going to do them anymore because I don't want my skin going in there. And that's how many carrots we have. Looks pretty good. I can mix it up. Looks pretty. Very pretty. Very nice. Now we're missing onion, onion, and uh, flavoring. So let's do the onion next. And what I'm gonna do with the onion is, I'm gonna cut my onion. I'm not gonna use the whole thing, of course. I'm gonna cut it into slices. You can do it on board. If you like the board. Probably a, a half an onion. I'm gonna put them all in a, in a pile like this on the board. Flip them over. Now I'm going to cut it, my other knife, cut it in half, then twist it around, then don't cut your fingers. Oops. And there's the onion. I'll put the onion in with it, and okay, I 
Here's the onion. Board can go over here. Okay, now we have the ingredients. Now we're gonna flavor it. Okay. Now, my mother flavored it a certain way. Now that's, that's it's, it's gonna be enough, enough of this because enough coleslaw because not everybody likes coleslaw. Now I'll get my bowl out for my dress, my dressing, okay. Okay, first of all, we start out with mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. I don't do it in the bowl because I'd rather do it separately and taste it separately because if you do it in the bowl and you ruin it, then you've ruined the whole thing, at least separately. So, a wad of um, mayonnaise, which is nothing more than eggs and oil and vinegar. Okay, to that, I'm gonna add some sugar. Sugar, probably a tablespoon, two tablespoons of sugar. Two tablespoons of sugar. Uh, mustard powder, probably a teaspoon of mustard powder. A teaspoon, okay. Uh, then we're gonna have horseradish. This is the kicker. This is the kicker. Probably a, a good heaping tablespoon of horseradish. Then we're going to take milk. Milk or cream? I think I'm going to use the milk. No, I'm going to use half and half. Yep, half and half. We'll use half and half. Half and half. Half and half. We're going to add half and half in there. Creamy like sauce. And now, vinegar. Let's add eighth of a cup of vinegar, maybe. That cuts the sugar and the mayonnaise. Now, let's taste it. Ooh, that is good. It's zippy, zesty, sweet, and nice. So now it's ready to go on the coleslaw. We take this and we just pour it on. If you don't want it too zippy, don't add so much horseradish. If you don't want it so sweet, don't add too much sugar. You kind of got to mix it in the bowl yourself, as the um, dressing on it, because it, it everyone likes it a little different. Some people put uh, mustard seeds in there. Now it's all done. Now all I got to do now is to make it perfect is you add some black pepper, fresh black pepper, and Brown some fresh black pepper. And I'm going to add some garlic salt because I love garlic in anything. Garlic to me is like wonderful. So there's the pepper and a little garlic salt. Lowry's garlic salt and just put a little bit of this in that's it stir it up let it set for a couple hours because all that juice will go into the um, vegetables there and it'll they'll take on the taste and there's coleslaw right there. Coleslaw. I think I'm gonna have a bowl now. The rest of the cabbage I'm putting in here in a bag and I'm gonna make bacon, fry up some bacon, shred the rest of this cabbage, throw it in with the bacon and the bacon grease and some maybe some spinach from the garden and make a delicious side dish for next week.